What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and no, this is not my car behind me, but you're gonna find out why right now. All right guys, so this is a friend of mine's car and it is an awesome color. I know you guys have heard me talk about shark gray before in the past, but right here is an example. The shark gray was one of the nicest colors available on the C7 and for some reason GM took it away after only two years on the Z06. But never mind that. What we're gonna be doing today is actually going to be some seat covers. I know what you're thinking, yeah. Justin, seat covers on a C7 Corvette? Yeah, they're not exactly your normal seat covers. What do I mean by that, you ask? Well, if you're new to the channel, you haven't seen the video where I installed these on my ZR1, which I actually removed not that long ago because I was thinking I was getting some competition seats, but that's still up in the air. Anyway, these are only for the GT seats or the touring seat. So in this case, he has the touring seats. Dave from San Diego Designs reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to do another install of these because he is apparently just about done carrying them because of the costs involved with carrying them. So if you guys want these things, you're going to want to jump on this as fast as you possibly can. I will link everything in the description below, but what we're going to do today is actually install them on this car to show you the process and show you how much better it looks afterwards. All right, so real quick, we're going to jump into the interior here and show you. This is one of the reasons why we want to do some seat covers on these seats. So these are a little lighter in color. You may have some issues with color transfer in the future. So sliding in and out of here with your jeans might actually transfer some of the color over. It's not a super light interior. It's not white like you can get on the C8, but it is lighter. It's not black. It's more of a dark gray. And that color goes throughout the entire interior here. So that is just one of the many reasons why you may want to consider doing something like this but the second one is that these particular covers literally look exactly like this seat so from a distance or even up close it doesn't really look like you even have a seat cover on it because these are more like a skin than a cover anyway let's go ahead and jump into the install process here so you guys can see what i'm talking about so first thing to do to make this as easy as possible is going to actually be to remove this target top now there's a couple different ways we can go about installing these the official instructions on the san diego designs website actually say to take the seat out out of the car now that sounds scarier than it really is because there's only four bolts holding that entire seat to the car itself and you don't have to disconnect the seat belt or anything you can actually just kind of swing it out but we have opted to not do that for this particular install just like i did not do that with my last install my zr1 which i will link that video right up here if you haven't seen that yet these are a slightly different color than the ones i used on my zr1 as well so this is kind of a different look but anyway let's get this top off the top is off, so now we do some seat cover installs. All right, guys, so we have opted to actually take the seats out. I know we just said we weren't, but it looks like the installation is going to be a good bit easier. And since I did do this on my ZR1 before, I could tell you it's not super easy without removing that seat. So we're going to go ahead and remove this, and we're going to swing it out, put it on the mover's blanket, and do what we need to do. So first step is to remove the four 15-millimeter bolts that are holding the seat in after removing the front covers, which are just held on with a clip. You're going to have four bolts, an electrical connector, and a zip tie to get these seats out now obviously someone's gonna have to hold the uh, seat belt back out of the way a little bit because you don't have to disconnect this unless you want to perfect just like that so as you can see guys the seat belt is still attached it will swing out of the car and we, oh, we got a quarter in there. All right, so we are going to start with the bottom part of the seat. Now, I'm gonna kind of show you what we're working with here. This is the bottom from San Diego Designs. As you can see, it's got some suede in there, but it is designed to look exactly the same as the stock seat. Now, the seat back is where you'll really notice the fact that it looks exactly like what we're putting it on. So obviously we're doing full black here. And as you can see the difference here in the black and his lighter gray interior, but you're not even gonna be able to really tell if this is a cover because it looks just like that. And the quality of these is really good. There's a lot of leather use, double stitching, very nice stuff guys. So if you wanna protect your seats, that, these are definitely the way to do it. So like I said, we're gonna start with the bottom first. That's what the instructions say to do. So let's get to it. First step is to just kind of place it where you want it here. There's a couple straps underneath that we're gonna have to Velcro in and through the back as well. But just setting it into place, you can already kind of see it's gonna fit more like a skin and less like a cover. I mean, right there you can already see, let me step out of the sun here. 
can already see the difference in what we're working with. Like I said, put the cover in place and then tuck these Velcro straps back in through the center part of the seat here, just like my lovely assistant is doing. JK, he's not that lovely. <laughs> Good thing you're editing. Yeah, maybe. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so after we tuck the Velcro straps in behind the seat crease there, the second step would be to go ahead and put these little bag things. <laughs> That's the best term I could come up with. They go between the seat and the plastic outside portion of the seat. So if you just shove it down in there, that will basically hold this skin tight to the actual seat in between the plastic. So just like that, pop it in there and it will be held in nice and tight. Second step is gonna to be to take those straps that you push through the crease there, and we're actually gonna wrap them around the bar underneath the seat here. Now, this is this part here, you're gonna to wanna to do this pretty tight. The tighter you do it, the better the look is gonna be at the end. Just like that. Now on to step three. So step three guys is to unvelcro the Velcro strap that's underneath the seat. And we're gonna run this down underneath. Now, obviously this again, you're gonna wanna put a good bit of uh, tightness on to make sure that this thing stays in place and looks as good as it possibly can. We're gonna use that with a zip tie to actually connect the loop here. So depending on which seat you get, this will either be a loop or there may also be a grommet like that in here. So you're gonna run that zip tie through this and tighten it down as tight as you can, again, to make sure that this thing sits on the seat as tight as possible and looks as good as possible. So the next step is to use another zip tie right here through this grommet and you're gonna tie it up underneath the seat to the hook right there. Now that's gonna be pretty tight in there. So good thing we took the seat out. There would be almost no way to do this without removing the seat from the car. These instructions are a little bit different than they were whenever I did this on my ZR1. And with that zip tie done, guys, it's starting to look like an actual seat. How about that? So from the distance here, you can tell black in the gray, these seats are fully protected. Now, if you guys know the C7 Corvette at all, the bolstering along the outside here and even on the bottom gets kind of beat up over time of sliding in and out of the car. These will help stop that. Not only that, most people won't even be able to tell you have them. In this case, it gives a little bit more of a black appearance to the interior as well. Even though this color goes pretty well with this color, it still just blacks out your seats. Or really, you can go with pretty much whatever color you want. There's a bunch of options. Like I said, links in the description below. So next, we're going to go ahead and install the back of the seat skin. Now, this one, from my experience at least, should be a little easier. The bottom part is a little more difficult. That's why we ended up removing the seat from the car, which was surprisingly easy. Those four bolts in that electrical harness comes off very easily this would be almost impossible to do if you do not swing the seat out like we did here anyway let's go ahead and start the install of the seat skin on the back so obviously first you're going to want to make sure all these velcros are taken apart that way you can attach them later and then just slide it over top of the seat like so now obviously we're going to tighten everything down and make sure that this thing fits as much like a glove as possible but for right now we're just getting it into place so the first step after getting the seat cover on is going to be to actually take the nylon straps and push them through the crease of the back of the seat again and we're going to clip them underneath. There's two of them, one on each side. All right, so with the two nylon straps through the back, we're going to now move on to the Velcro strap that will also go around the back to kind of hold everything back behind the seat tight. After that, one of the final steps is going to be to push all this through and Velcro it on the other side of the cover as well. So like I said, guys, this part just pushes through. It's going to Velcro basically to itself on the other side. And this is just, again, to make sure that it's pulled as tightly against the actual seat as possible. All right, guys, so that is one seat down. We're going to go ahead and put it back in the car now, vacuum it up a little bit because it got a little dirty from the installation. And then I'll show you the before and after product. Obviously, I'm not going to film the passenger side seat because it's the exact same process, only slightly reversed because some of the parts of the seats are on the other side, obviously. This is a great method for protecting your seat if you want to maintain kind of a stock look. So I highly recommend these. Like I said, the links will be in the description down below. San Diego Designs makes a lot of really cool accessories for your C7 Corvette. So definitely check them out, even if you're not going for the seat covers. But let's get the seat back in the car so I can show you what it looks like now versus what it looked like stock. All right, guys, so we got the seat back in and the owner is sitting on them. He seems to like them. What do you think? I like them. They're good quality uh, for a good seat. Um, value is excellent and i like how they protect my seats i'm good all right so there you go guys like i said sliding in and out of the c7 it's definitely going to get worn a little bit 
and now that's not a concern anymore and as you can see here we got the before and after shot definitely it, it looks a little bit better in there being all black i think but of course this is going to be a personal preference so if you like a certain color on your seat san diego designs has a couple different ones but yeah i like that because this is a 3lz interior so there's a lot of suede in here and alcantara anyway so this kind of matches a little bit better with it i mean it's up to you guys if you like the idea of protecting your investment like this it's not a bad idea to grab a set of these from san diego designs and like i said while you're over there check out some of their other products because they have a lot of really cool stuff that you didn't even know you needed for your c7 but once you see it and you use it you won't know how you lived without it all right guys that is going to wrap today's video up like i said we're going to do the passenger side seats i'm not going to put you through the anguish of having to watch that as well it's the same kind of process but i want to give a big thank you a big thumbs up to san diego designs dave he really knocks it out of the park with these products and like i said the website is full of a couple little things that you just didn't even realize you wanted for your car that really helps improve your experience with the c7 corvette specifically the seat covers really cool they're an awesome way to protect your investment and of course you can always go to walmart or something like that and buy a seat cover for the car and of course it's not going to look anywhere near as good or fit as well as these do these are a little more difficult to install than something from walmart but at the same time it's going to look a lot better and it's going to function a lot better so big thank you big thumbs up like i said guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do i'm going to have loads of corvette content like this coming you are not going to want to miss and as always i will catch you in the next upload